in this series on how I write, format, and self-publish my Kindle eBooks in step number four of this process. Here's how to insert images into your eBook and where to find them so your eBook looks way cool. While there's nothing wrong with an eBook that's filled with line after line of text, scrolling, scrolling, from time to time, it's nice to see an image or two pop up now and then. First, let me show you how I do my paperback books, which are printed in black and white. You can see the images here inside this book, this paperback book, are black and white because the books are printed in black and white. You know, black text, white paper. The difference with eBooks, which I really love, is there's not an extra cost to including color photographs in your eBook when publishing a Kindle eBook. So why not include full colored images in your eBook when you can? Here's an example now of this same book in the Kindle online eBook previewer. As you can see, I've got colored photographs in here. Pictures paint a thousand words. So why not include a few in your eBook? Now, here's how to insert images into your Kindle eBook. This eBook here that I'm writing, it's in Microsoft Word. So this is how you would insert an image into your eBook manuscript. First, insert picture. Now, every Microsoft Word version is a little different. Today's 365 edition of Microsoft Word 2007, 2010, 14, 2000. I mean, they're all different, but the concept is the same. Insert, picture, and then find where the image is. And in this case, we're looking inside the images folder for eBooks, and we want to find the image we want, and here it is. And I'm just going to select it and then insert the image. And there it is. Now, when I insert this image, what it did was I got to bump this copyright notice to the next page with a control enter. And that puts the copyright notice at the proper position on the page. Good. And here's the image. And this image will be seen inside the ebook when the reader passes through the content of the ebook. Pretty cool. Now, I can also crop this image, which I think I will. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the image. And then all these properties show up for how to edit an image inside Word. I'm going to go ahead and click Crop. And I'm just going to move this over like this. Yeah, that's so much better. All right, great. And then I'll deselect it. Now I can actually increase the image a little bit. Uh, much better. Great. OK, let's scroll down and insert another image. And we'll put it right here. But I'm actually going to bump Control-Enter. I'm going to bump that to the next page. And I'm going to insert my image right here. Insert picture. And I'm going to find the image. Here it is. Select it and then choose insert or double click. OK, and let's, you know, when you insert an image, sometimes it's going to be bumped around. So I'll just delete this little section and bring that image over. And of course, again, the introduction needs to be control enter. And so far, we're doing good. Let's insert one more picture. And I believe it goes right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Control Enter to bump this paragraph right here. So I have this empty page. Insert picture. And I'll look for the image that I want. There it is. Double click. And again, if it jumps around, that's OK. I'm going to hit the Delete key and bring that puppy over. And then I'm going to take my text and again, Control Enter. You just have to do that. You got to play, you got to finesse, you got to work with your text as you insert images into your ebook. And that's kind of it. You know, that's how you insert an image into your ebook as you kind of bump text around, put it on the next page, let your images be on their own page. That'll make it nice when the reader is scrolling through text after text, line after line, and then they come across an image just by itself on its own page. Now, if it was a smaller image, about half a page size, that's OK. No big deal. But if they're large images and you think they might take up the whole page, let them. That's OK. Now, here's how to insert an image into your ebook manuscript that you wrote inside a Google document. 
Find the area where you want to place an image. Put your cursor there. Then, insert, image, upload from computer. Find the image on your computer. Here it is. And remember, we're trying to keep our images inside a folder called images within the ebooks folder for where we want to put our ebooks. We want things organized. So here's the image. I'm going to open it. And there it is. Now I'm going to take the cursor and make sure it's over by this copyright area. And I'm going to hit control enter to bump that down to its own page. I want this on its own page. This allows this image to be on its own page too. Because again, as the reader scrolls through the ebook in their reader, they'll see this image on its own page and it's kind of nice. Now I'm going to right click and crop this image. Very good. Now I can enlarge it a little bit more. That looks so much nicer. Yeah. Excellent. Let's do it again. Let's do another one here. Let's put one right here. Tell you what, I'm going to put my cursor here. Go down a little bit. Control Enter. I've got a blank page. I'm going to go ahead and hit Insert, Image, Upload from Computer. And find the image I want. There it is. Insert, and voila. Excellent. All right. And you just do that with your whole manuscript. Find where you want to put an image. When you find the text, let's say like right here, I remember I actually had an image here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a blank space, a blank page for this image. Because I wanted this image to appear right there. Image, upload from computer. Find the image on your computer. Here it is. Double click or hit the open button. And there it is. All right. Control enter. And that's it. Look at good. And unlike paperback books, where your images should be 300 DPI, high resolution for printing, your ebook images don't have to be high resolution. They can be low resolution. And I'm talking like 72 DPI. That's good. Now, where do you find images for your ebook? Photographs, vector images, etc. That's easy. Go online and just search for free stock photography websites or free vector images websites. When you do, a whole bunch of them are going to pop up. Please disregard all these ads up here, you know, that are saying, oh, we have free stock photography. No, you don't. You know, mm. no, don't believe them. Today, there are so many websites that offer free stock photography and free vector images that you don't have to pay for at all. In some cases, you may have to give a credit mention as to where you got the photograph or who took the photograph. Hey, that's no biggie. I'll just put that in the copyright area. Two of my favorite places to find images are unsplash.com and pixabay.com. Let me show you what's possible. On unsplash.com, when you're here, search for the image you're looking for. Let's say beach. When you find an image you'd like to use in your ebook, simply click the image and then click the green download button and save this image inside the images folder inside the same folder where your ebook is located. You know, we're going to want to keep all the images in your ebook in a folder called images in the ebook folder. I want everything highly organized for you. Great. Then just go and insert that image into your ebook where you want it to go. And I showed you how to insert an image inside Microsoft Word. Insert, picture, find the image you want. Find the image on your computer or a Google Doc. Same procedures. Rinse and repeat. Insert, image, upload from computer. Find the image on your computer. I'm going to open it, and there it is. Now, here's pixabay.com. I love this website because you can search for images, photos, vector graphics, illustrations, as well as other elements for your project. Again, just search for what you want to insert into your ebook, such as pizza. Click on the one you like. 
then click the free download button. And just choose a medium sized file. You don't need the large or the super small. Confirm your download. Save it in the images folder so you know where to find it when you want to insert it into your ebook. Make note of any reference to giving credit to someone, maybe a link, maybe a statement, maybe a phrase, a sentence, whatever they say right here. Good example. Just copy it and make note of it somewhere. Like I said, in the copyrights section of your book, that'd be good right up front. Here's another tip. Watch out for ads to websites on these free websites for stock photography advertisements to images that are located on like iStockPhotography.com or iStock.com, it doesn't matter. Any other ad that's showcasing images. Now what it is, is you don't want that. Those you have to pay for. Stay away. So just be very careful and read the fine print. If you see other images that relate to, but they're offered by another company that takes you to another website, those are going to be for sale. You don't want that. Just stick where you are, read carefully, and make sure that the images that you download are free. They've got commercial licenses available. They say, hey, you can use this for private or commercial use. Great. Now, if you have photos on your phone that you took that you want to put in your ebook, that's okay too. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your photo gallery and you're going to select the images that you want to use in your ebook. Once you select them, look for an icon that says, you know, share. And then when you share these images, all you're going to do is email them to yourself. Choose Gmail in this case. And you can see right here, they are attached to this email. Well, simply just send these photographs to yourself. And just any subject like my pics. And then you don't even have to include anything in the body. Done. Let's send this to ourselves. When we send it to ourselves, we will receive this email in seconds. Go into the email, download the images, find the images folder within the ebook folder for your book, save them, and voila, you're done. You moved photographs off your phone to your computer so you can include them in your ebook. And then just follow the procedures again for inserting an image into your ebook manuscript, whether you wrote that in Microsoft Word or Google Documents. And that's it. That's how you insert images inside your ebook. And by the way, that is my pizza that I make at home, and which the recipe can be found inside my cookbook, bartscookbook.com. You've got to check it out. It is the world's best pizza. Seriously, I put door delivery pizza companies out of business. Check it out. In fact, here's the recipe in the actual cookbook. My world famous or ultra heavenly homemade pizza. It really is to die for. Mmm, yum. Check it out. Okay, yeah, uh, back to the tutorials. Let's proceed now to the next video in this series, and I'll show you how to insert links to websites in your ebook. Come on, let's check it out.